Welcome back. I uh, wanted to do a quarter mile run with uh, the green smurf, but uh, at my first attempt, I actually almost broke down. I had to run it back home on limp mode. And I think we have a weak spark. Not sure if the camera will pick it up, but it's a weak and orange colored spark. And these should be white. But I did a small discovery. We have more spark in between the points than we have at the spark plug. So let's see if the camera will pick this up. So I'm going to quickly take off the flywheel, check the points and clean them up. Maybe give them a little bit of sanding and uh, also check the gap. So let's take it off first and clean the points. We have the flywheel off, uh, we have the point ignition system here, and I'm just going to clean the points up with some 400 grit sandpaper and clean them out with some brake cleaner afterwards. Just pull them open, put the sandpaper in and pull it back out. Or do it like this. Now with some brake cleaner. <laughs> there we go, all nice and clean. So let's put the flywheel back on and check the gap. So for this type of engine for Flandria, we need in between 0.35 and 0.45 millimeters of gap between the points and we need to set the pre-ignition to 2.2 millimeters. So how do we check gap? Uh, first we find the top dead center. Usually you just put a screwdriver in the cylinder head in the spark plug hole. As you can see if you rotate the flywheel the screwdriver will go up and just until it stops going up, there is a dead point. So you will notice when you go up, there is a dead point where the screwdriver will no longer go up. And after that point, it will start going down. So that dead zone of uh, going up or down is the top dead center of the piston. As you can see here, this is the point where the screwdriver starts going down. So it goes back up and then the dead zone and then back down. So you need this dead zone. So we put the flywheel at this point. We take our feeler gauge and shove it in between the, the points and see how much gap we have. 0.35 is pretty snug. So I think we are just below that. Yeah, point 40 opens the points. So we have a little resistance on point 35, so I am going to open it just a little bit. And we do that by loosening this flathead screw and then uh, take another or take a screwdriver and pry the points uh, to the left or the right. I think it's to the right and then that will give you more gap. It's pretty hard to film, but I will try. <clears throat> so, screw loose, and then just a gentle pry, not too much. I think I have to loosen the screw a bit more. Oh, yeah. Now they are completely closed. As you can see, if you push it to the left, the gaps, uh, the points open, and we need that opening to be just over 0.35. It's a bit fiddly, but you get used to it. So now I've opened them probably too much. Let's see, 0.45 gauge. Yeah, there's still way too much gap. So let's go back a little bit.
So 0.45 doesn't fit right now. Let's see 0.40. Fits snug. 0.35. Also snug. So I think we're at 0.35. I think we're right at the spot where we started. So let's just give it a little bit more. Nothing too much. was already too much 0.45 snug has a bit of resistance 0.40 fits loosely so I think we're actually right at the spot here and let's check 0.35 yeah I think that's that's it tighten it back up and recheck it. 0.35. Yes, seems perfect. So let's check if it's still tight. Okay, let's give it a spin. This is top dead center. Let's recheck. Yes, perfect. I think we are right at 0.40, so right in between. Perfect. Let's also check the pre-ignition. So, well, we call it pre-ignition, but the pre-ignition is uh, the moment that they that the points start opening, and we need that 2.2 millimeters before top dead center. So, if you rotate the engine like this. If this is the drive direction, as you can see, the rear wheel spins in this direction. You go in the drive direction until you reach top dead center, which is here. So we are at the top dead center now. You take a caliper, shove it in the spark plug hole. You take this measurement. So this is uh, 20.4 millimeters. You add the pre-ignition uh, timing, which is in this case 2.2. So we need 22.6 millimeters. 22.6. Lock it down. You put the calipers back into the spark plug hole. As you can see, there is now a little gap between the top of the hole and the calipers. And you rotate the flywheel back. So I need two hands, but I will try to film it. As you can see, now the caliper is on the spark plug hole, but we have gone too far. It goes back up. And this is the point there where the points should be opening, which they actually do. So that's perfect. If the points are uh, not opening here, you need to loosen the base plate of the ignition system and you rotate it clockwise or counterclockwise depending on uh, your ignition timing so for example if these points were still closed we loosen the base plate we rotate it until they just go open they barely open just like here so this is perfect for example if these were already open at the full gap for example, the 0.35 we just measured, then the pre-ignition is uh, too early. If they don't or if they are not open yet, then the, it's too late. But here it's spot on, so everything is good. Let's retighten the flywheel, put the spark plug back in, and see if we have a better spark, and hopefully if it rides better. Yes, much bigger spark, much better. Hopefully this fixed the issue. So let's put it back together and hopefully we have some clear weather to do a test drive. 